Have you ever wondered how our brain adapts and learns new things? Well, let's dive into the fascinating world of neuroplasticity, a concept that will change the way you view your brain's potential. Neuroplasticity, also known as brain plasticity, is a term that refers to the extraordinary ability of the brain to modify its own structure and function following changes within the body or in the external environment. Think of it as the brain's magical way of reorganizing itself by forming new neural connections throughout life. This process isn't just limited to learning new things or gaining new experiences. It also plays a crucial role when the body experiences injury. When certain parts of the brain are damaged, other parts can sometimes take over and perform the loss function to some extent. This is all thanks to the power of neuroplasticity. Now you might be thinking, so my brain is constantly changing and adapting, but what triggers this process? Well, it's not as complicated as you might think. Whenever we learn something new, experience something unfamiliar, or even recover from an injury, our brain's response is to reorganize and adapt. This can involve strengthening existing neural connections or even creating completely new ones. Essentially, our brain is a dynamic entity, constantly evolving and adapting to help us navigate through life. It's like a master sculptor, continually chiseling and reshaping itself based on our experiences, thoughts, and emotions. But neuroplasticity isn't just about the brain changing on its own. It's also about how we can actively influence these changes to enhance our cognitive abilities like memory and attention, improve our emotional regulation, and even aid in recovery after brain injury. This is where the concept of neuroplasticity training comes into play. It's a process that aims to harness the brain's plasticity through specific activities and exercises to improve and enhance our brain's capabilities. So the question arises, how can we harness this incredible ability of the brain? Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the world of neuroplasticity training and the principles that make it effective. To utilize neuroplasticity, we first need to understand it. Neuroplasticity, in essence, is the brain's ability to reorganize itself. This powerful attribute of our brains allows for the formation of new neural connections and the strengthening or weakening of existing ones. It's akin to a city that's constantly under construction. Roads are being built, old buildings are being renovated, and new structures are emerging. Now let's delve into the process. Imagine the brain as a bustling network of pathways with each path representing a neural connection. Every time we learn something new, we are essentially paving a new pathway in our brain. This is the formation of a new neural connection. What happens when we repeatedly use this new pathway? Well, just like a path that's frequently used, it becomes well-trodden and easier to navigate. The more we use it, the stronger it becomes. This is the strengthening of an existing neural connection. It's why practice makes perfect. The more you practice a skill, the stronger the related neural pathways become making it easier for you to perform that skill. Conversely, when a pathway isn't used, it becomes overgrown and harder to traverse. This is the weakening of a neural connection. It's the reason behind the saying, use it or lose it. If you don't use a skill, the neural pathways related to that skill weaken and it becomes harder for you to perform it. But here's the truly fascinating part. Our brains can not only create and strengthen connections, but also reroute or reorganize them in response to changes in our environment learning, or after an injury. This ability of our brains to adapt and change is fundamental to neuroplasticity. So neuroplasticity is not just about forming new connections or letting old ones fade. It's about the incredible adaptability of our brains, the constant reshaping and restructuring in response to our experiences and learning. Now that we understand what neuroplasticity is, how do we train our brains to maximize this? There are several types of neuroplasticity training that can help enhance cognitive abilities. That's right, let's dive into this fascinating world of brain training. First on our list is cognitive training. This involves engaging in mental exercises or activities designed to improve specific cognitive abilities. Think of brain training games, puzzles, memory exercises, or even Sudoku. These activities are not just fun, but they also challenge the brain, strengthening its neural connections and sharpening cognitive abilities like memory and problem solving. Next, we have behavioral therapy. This therapeutic approach, such as cognitive behavioral therapy, helps individuals modify negative thought patterns and behaviors, encouraging more adaptive coping strategies. It's like giving the brain a new map to navigate through life's challenges. 
By altering the way we think and react, we can rewire our brain's neural pathways, contributing to more positive outcomes in our lives. Physical exercise is another form of neuroplasticity training. Now you might be thinking, what does exercise have to do with the brain? Well, physical activity has been shown to promote neuroplasticity by increasing the production of growth factors that support the growth and survival of neurons. So, when you're sweating it out on the treadmill, not only are you toning your muscles, but you're also boosting your brain power. Let's not forget mindfulness practices. Mindfulness meditation and other similar practices can promote neuroplasticity by enhancing attentional control and emotional regulation. It's about being present and aware, training the brain to focus and better manage emotions. This is like hitting the refresh button on your brain, giving it a chance to declutter and rejuvenate. Finally, we have the process of learning new skills. Whether it's picking up a new language, strumming a guitar for the first time, or mastering the art of chess, learning a new skill can stimulate neuroplasticity by challenging the brain to form new neural connections. It's like exploring uncharted territories where every new experience is a chance for the brain to evolve and adapt. Each type of training offers unique benefits and can be tailored to individual needs and goals. For instance, someone looking to improve their memory might engage more in cognitive training, while someone wanting to manage stress better might lean towards mindfulness practices. Remember, the goal of neuroplasticity training isn't about becoming a genius overnight. It's about consistently engaging the brain in a variety of stimulating activities, pushing it to adapt, evolve, and improve over time. It's about understanding that our brains are not fixed, but are capable of change and growth. In the end, it's about realizing the immense power that lies within our minds, the power to shape and redefine our cognitive abilities, the power to change our lives for the better. So let's harness this power and embrace embark on the exciting journey of neuroplasticity training. Remember, it's not just about training the brain, it's about transforming it. Each type of training offers unique benefits and can be tailored to individual needs and goals. So let's get started, shall we? To maximize the benefits of neuroplasticity training, certain principles need to be followed. As we delve into the principles of effective neuroplasticity training, it's important to remember that the brain is a complex organ and training it requires a thoughtful, strategic approach. We're going to discuss five key principles, repetition, intensity, variability, feedback, and adaptivity. First up is repetition. Just as a musician practices scales or an athlete drills a particular skill, repeated practice is key to strengthening new neural connections. The brain is essentially a pattern recognition machine and repetition helps to reinforce these patterns, making them more automatic over time. So. When engaging in neuroplasticity training, be it solving puzzles or meditating, consistency is your ally. Next, we have intensity. The brain thrives on challenge. When a task is sufficiently challenging, it stimulates neuroplastic changes. So don't shy away from that difficult crossword or challenging memory game. The key here is to gradually increase the difficulty of your training activities. This keeps your brain engaged and promotes continued progress. Now let's talk about variability. Just as a varied diet is good for the body, a variety of activities is good for the brain. Incorporating different types of tasks engages different brain regions and cognitive functions. This not only prevents boredom, but also maximizes the benefits of your training. So mix it up. Rotate between memory games, mindfulness exercises, and physical activities. The fourth principle is feedback. Just as a coach provides feedback to an athlete, Immediate and informative feedback is crucial in neuroplasticity training. It helps you track your progress and adjust your strategies to improve performance. This feedback can come from a variety of sources, including self-assessment, brain training apps, or a professional trainer. Lastly, we have adaptivity. This refers to the idea that training programs should adapt to your level of performance. A one-size-fits-all approach doesn't work when it comes to brain training. Personalized training regimens which target specific areas of need can optimize learning outcomes. This means your training should evolve as you progress, becoming more challenging as your skills improve. By incorporating these principles into your neuroplasticity training, you're not just going through the motions. You're actively engaging your brain in a way that promotes growth and adaptation. You're creating an environment for your brain to thrive, to form new connections, and to strengthen existing ones. And remember, neuroplasticity training is not a sprint, it's a marathon. It's a lifelong investment in your cognitive health. 
So be patient, be consistent, and most importantly, have fun with it. After all, the journey to a healthier, more agile brain is one that should be enjoyed. By adhering to these principles, we can optimize the outcomes of neuroplasticity training. So why should you consider neuroplasticity training? What are the potential benefits? Well, let's dive right in and explore the advantages of engaging in this fascinating process. The first and perhaps most obvious benefit is improved cognitive function. By consistently engaging in exercises that stimulate your brain, you're not only forming new neural connections, but also strengthening existing ones. This can lead to enhanced memory, sharper attention, and improved problem-solving abilities. Imagine being able to remember names and faces with ease or solve complex puzzles in record time. That's the power of neuroplasticity training, but it doesn't stop there. Neuroplasticity training also facilitates enhanced learning. Remember when you tried to learn a new language or master a musical instrument? It was tough, right? Well, by promoting neuroplasticity, training can facilitate the acquisition of new skills and knowledge. The more you exercise your brain, the better it gets at learning new things. It's like giving your brain a workout to build muscle strength, but in this case, you're building cognitive strength. Now let's talk about emotional regulation. In our fast-paced, high-stress world, managing our emotions effectively is more important than ever. Neuroplasticity training can help individuals regulate their emotions more effectively, reducing symptoms of anxiety and depression. By changing negative thought patterns and behaviors, it promotes more adaptive coping strategies. Imagine being able to navigate life's ups and downs with a calm, balanced mind. Sounds great, doesn't it? And finally, we come to rehabilitation. Neuroplasticity training can be a powerful tool in the recovery process for individuals who have suffered a brain injury or are dealing with neurological conditions. By promoting the formation of new neural connections, it aids in the recovery of lost function. For instance, stroke patients who engage in neuroplasticity training often experience significant improvements in their speech and motor skills. To sum it up, neuroplasticity training is like giving your brain a tune-up. It's not just about improving memory or learning new skills, it's about enhancing your overall quality of life. Whether you're looking to boost your cognitive abilities, manage your emotions better, learn new things more easily, or aid in recovery from a brain injury, neuroplasticity training offers a promising approach. Keep in mind that these benefits are not achieved overnight. It requires consistent effort and engagement. But the good news is, the human brain is an incredibly adaptable organ capable of remarkable change and growth at any age. So it's never too late to start training your brain and reaping the benefits of neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity training offers a promising approach to improving cognitive function, emotional well-being, and overall quality of life. So why not give it a try? Your brain will thank you. The brain's ability to adapt and change is truly remarkable. This is the essence of neuroplasticity, a concept that we've delved into extensively today. Its implications stretch far and wide, opening up new avenues for cognitive enhancement, emotional regulation, and even rehabilitation. This constant ebb and flow of neural connections forms the backbone of our cognitive abilities, and it is this attribute that neuroplasticity training seeks to harness. Cognitive training with its brain-boosting games and puzzles targets specific cognitive abilities. Behavioral therapies like cognitive behavioral therapy work to reshape negative thought patterns and promote healthier coping strategies. Physical exercise and mindfulness practices, on the other hand, boost neuroplasticity by promoting the growth and survival of neurons and enhancing attentional control and emotional regulation, respectively. Learning new skills from languages to musical instruments can also stimulate neuroplasticity, challenging our brains to form new neural connections. The key principles of effective neuroplasticity training underline the importance of repetition, intensity, variability, feedback, and adaptivity in strengthening these new connections and ensuring lasting improvements. Neuroplasticity training offers a multitude of benefits. It can enhance memory, attention, problem solving, and other cognitive abilities, making us more efficient learners. It can help us regulate our emotions better, reducing symptoms of anxiety and depression, and for those recovering from brain injuries or neurological conditions, it can aid in rehabilitation by promoting the recovery of lost functions. In conclusion, neuroplasticity training is a powerful tool that can transform our cognitive abilities and emotional well-being. It's a testament to the incredible adaptability of the human brain and the potential it holds. 
By understanding and harnessing neuroplasticity, we can unlock the full potential of our minds and lead more fulfilling lives.